Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the very first all-wheel drive Class B Plus in America. This is the all-new 2021 Ford Gemini Model 23 TW with the EcoBoost. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World's Joint Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super duper excited to be showing you this all wheel drive B plus on the market. Very excited to show you, and you guys are about to see why I love B pluses over class Bs. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going? It's going good. You guys know we are down here in Jacksonville. Up here in Jacksonville. Yeah, that's where I always do that. Yep. Up here in Jacksonville. Uh huh. Trying to get the units you guys requested. Yep, and this was one of them. Yes. This is actually a really hot unit just because of some of the new features going on. Let's get started. Model is 23 TW, but the actual tip to tip length of this motor home is 23 feet, six inches. This is powered on the transit chassis. It's a 3.5 liter V6 with the EcoBoost, 306 horsepower with 400 foot pounds of torque. I really like this transit chassis. This is gonna give you a tight steering wheel, a nice driving experience. This is a B plus. Technically, there's no such thing as a B plus. It's a class C. It's a cutaway chassis. But the market calls it a B plus because how small, narrow it is, and with no bunk over the cab. I absolutely love this. Look at what Ford's doing with the new transit chassis. I think it looks good. It's more modern, more aggressive. Look at these tires, Andre. These are the hand cooked tires. They are 205-75R16C. I don't wonder what C stands for. Maybe for chrome. I don't know. Coming down the side here, check this out. We do have frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Nice small awning, but it is the whole length of the motorhome. Let's take a look at it when it's all the way out. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Press that button. Nice power awning with LED lights. Automatically comes out and it will automatically retract itself back in with the wind sensor. And I really, really like that. Light, I like how it's the whole length. Yep. Wow. That's great. Okay. Very nice. Yep. And as you can see right here in the end of it, it does have, no, right up here, it does have the LED lights up here. Right here, we do have a uh, power cord or power outlet right there. Because this is a Thor, they upfit the chassis with more rides, so it's going to give you a better suspension. I call it Thor ride. <laughs> right over here is your generator, Andrea. You can see this is a Cummins Onan QG 4000 gasoline generator. And then right there, you do have a propane quick connect in case you want an exterior grill. Coming around the back, no bumper for your stinky slinky. You do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. I personally wouldn't with the transit chassis. You know, it's just a nice B plus. It's gonna be easy to get around places where you wanna go. Right there, that's where you have your black tank flush. Look at this, instant hot tankless water heater. I love that. You have a backup camera right there. And Andrea, we also have a one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Wow, Matt, it's been a while since you've done some roof climbing. Here we go now. Better hold on. All right, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece TPO roof. We do have an air conditioning unit right here. It's a 13.5 BTU. You got your solar panel right up there already installed. And right there is your wine guard digital to go antenna. All right, here we go now. All right, Matt, take your time. Okay, last step. <laughs> Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What did the RV salesman's goal take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Great, finishing up with the driver's side. Got your video right, uh, your uh, little bit of storage right there. Okay, a little bit. Right here's where you dump your black and gray tank. I like how it's all right there. 
easy to get to. Your outdoor shower, 30 amp hookup, potable water fill, potable, potable. Here's where you fill up your city water and TV connection. Now check it out, I'm not a huge fan of all this being outside, but this is a very price point class C, so it is what it is. Right here, we have a little bit more storage. Okay. 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 And then here's your propane tank. And Andrea. Yes. We'll have all the propane tank sizes, lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing. Uh, and down in the description for, or right there for everybody to watch on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. <laughs> hey, Andrea. Yeah. If everybody watched two days ago episode, the outside of this was like a breeze compared to the Allegro bus. All Check right. out the inside. Here we go. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do my 360. I like that handle. Check that out. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, there's the walkway. Um, bed's on a slide. Let me push that back. Here is the bathroom. I can get to it no problem. And where's Matt? There you are. Yes. Oops. Great. Now while the slide out's coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could please leave down in the comments below, let us know three things you like about the new Gemini all-wheel drive and three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And we thank each and every one of you, don't we, Andre? Yes, we do, absolutely. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this. It's exciting, it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, and for those of you who are wondering, uh, the Gemini's Gemini, it's Gemini's a twin, is the compass. But that's funny, right? The Gemini's Gemini. It, the Gemini is, is the Gemini of the compass. Look at the slide out when it's all the way out. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. Lots more room now. Yep. And this drops down. And this is right here. Okay. Great. Let's get started with this cockpit area. And Andrea, I love this. Again, this is the class b driver okay they want something nimble and sleek and easy look easy to maneuver gets good gas mileage it's currently at 11 miles per gallon wow. but i know when you drive this you can get a little bit better gas mileage than that you got your navigation right here your screen your backup screen right like there that. very awesome very nice let me turn this down some very awesome and nice you got this the seats do not swivel to become part of the living area oh no they do swivel they do, they are swivel seats. I oh, love hold that. Hold on, I gotta get the cargo carrying capacity. What is it, Andrea? It is 1435. That is actually That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. Compared to the Mercedes counterparts, oh, look. for having a full wall slide, that's nice. Pretty comfy, guys. What about that leg space? Great, great nice. for me. I mean, I, I think it's great. And I like how the backup camera's right there because so many people, your, your muscle memory, when you're trying to look behind you, you're looking up at that mirror right there. I like how it has the retract extend button here for the uh, window right there. Yep. Oh, Let's yeah. See. And then look at that. That just adds a whole bunch of natural light. Oh, yeah. Light. I love natural light. Very cool. Again, these seats do swivel. No bunk over the cab, but that's okay, Andre, because a lot of people who are interested in this RV, they don't necessarily need or want the bunk over the cab. This is that Class B customer who wants something a little bit bigger than the Class B. I like that. I like how the seats are like that. Yep. And you don't have that step down. Yep. And you do have a booster seat for once the seats do swivel. Nice. Over here in the living area, there is no sofa, but you do have your TV right there up over the door. Pretty decent sized television for a small motor home. And then this is your living area. It's your dinette. You do have a little bit of storage under the dinette. And I must say, Andre, this is a pretty big sized dinette. Four people can easily sit around this. It does drop down to make a bed and you do have cup holders right there. And then look at the cabinetry. I love what they do. Well, sorry, 
Look at the valances right here. It's kind of like a bamboo look. Uh -huh. I think I like it. And then right up here. The Euro style cabinetry. Yes, I love what, that they do this in the Gemini's And I like the light above line. there too. Very nice. Well, Andrea, this one, this review is going so much faster <laughs> than the last video. It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is, whoop, hang on, I lied. We upgrade, so the standard's a 13.5 BTU air conditioning unit. We did upgrade it to the 15K. You know why, Andrea? Because it's Florida and it's hot. That's right. You know it. MSRP on this motorhome here is $117,893 MSRP. Sale price is, bing, I don't know. I don't have a sale price yet because this motorhome just arrived yesterday. So it's not even on our website yet, but you'll be able to see the sale price right here. Andre, do you see that sale price? Yes. <laughs> it's really good. It's a great sale price. But regardless with, of how good that sale price is, we can get you an even better sale price than that. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Andrea, let's continue the video. Oh, air on? What you saying? Are you saying it's the middle of summer in Florida? It's in August spot? here in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys, with the kitchen. Um, we got the round sink. Ooh. Great for your Instapot. Nice, because it's a small kitchen, yes. yes. And you can have it going while you're driving. I like the extension there. I love that it has a window with the slow rise shade. Look how big that window is. I, I love light in the kitchen. We got a nice cabinetry. Oh, you oh my a God. Trash can. That's an $83 trash can. Nice. And let's see, we got three drawers here. Uh -huh. There is like, it looks like there's a cover that goes over that. Okay. Nice drawers. Yep. I like the handles on here. Very modern. Yes. Big fan of the cabinetry. Adjustable shelves. Yes, with the pistons right there. Very nice. Very nice, like the light above it. Mm -hmm. And then let's see what we got here. A two burner cooktop. Yes. Nice Dometic. Yep. And we got a convection microwave. Very nice. Underneath we got this big drawer for pots and pans. Uh-huh. We've got a cabinet up here. Yes, ma'am. Very ma nice. And a camp size refrigerator. Uh, well, so it's bigger than a class B fridge. Yes. But yes. smaller than a Class C fridge. And it runs off your shore power propane. Yep. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We haven't had it on that long. Nice drawer. Another drawer here. Uh-huh. Great. Over here in the bedroom area. Got a privacy curtain right there, yes. as you can Notice see. Yes, notice the privacy curtain with the tracks. So if you do have a guest, they're not coming into the bedroom area to use the bathroom. You have a pretty decent-sized bed. I'm not going to lie. As you know, this bed does have to tilt up. But you can actually kind of use this as seating space. Yeah, if you need to put your shoes on and things like that. Yep, you got drawers underneath. I like underneath. that. You okay. got three drawers across. That's great. Yep. Andre, why don't you show everybody that while okay. I hold this up? Look at this wardrobe. Very nice. Yeah, I feel like when it's time to get changed, it's going to be best to have the bed up. Oh, I don't know why it's stuck. But anyways, same size over here as on that side got four drawers here. Nice. Electrical outlet, USB. Uh-huh. Very nice. And then right. across, you do have a TV right there. Yes. And then when we put this bed got down. opening up for a fan. I like, I like this right here. You this is a queen size bed? Yeah, a little remote where you can turn on and off your generator. That's cool. Yep. That is a queen size, isn't it? it? Sure is. I like how it has the little window there. And then we have cabinetry above here with, look at that, that there's a cigarette lighter back there. Okay, look, and even though you didn't get a lot of nightstand here, at least you still have like a cubby in there. Yep. And on the other side as well. Just a little something. Yeah. Something. All right, let's see it. Time for the bathroom. Uh-oh. Doesn't matter, by the way, 
Doesn't matter how I feel about this bathroom. This bathroom is better than every class B bathroom on the market. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. This is why I like class B's. Or Look, you B have pluses. a 24 by 36 shower. Or on B pluses, yes, thank you. This is a this is a small shower, but relative to its market, it's a great size shower. Really nice, Andre. Show that sink. Yes, very cute sink. I like the medicine cabinet here. Uh huh. Love the sink. modern handles. Yes. Outlet cabinet under here. Now look at the toilet paper holder all look, the way over here. What a great spot. What a practical spot. Oh, Do not sit my toilet. Reach it. You still could reach it. Yeah. Got a cabinet up here. You're about to steal my toilet, Ted, <laughs> weren't you? Fan up there. Fantastic. Yeah, and what do you got here? The water heater and yep, everything? Yep, the okay. instant hot water heater. So let's see, Matt. It's now time for the toilet test. Uh-oh, feet dangling. Plastic. You know, they really didn't need to use the plastic with 1,400 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. It is a little bit elevated, but I do have plenty of space I can breathe while I'm doing my business which to me is really important. It does not get the four Ps, but this bathroom is fantastic, fantastic for how small this motorhome is. And Andrea, yes. as small as it is, and as great as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go first. I like the all-wheel drive. I like the Ford Transit chassis. I like how sleek and nimble this is it's gonna to be to drive. When you're driving it, it has tight turns like you're driving a Class B. It's just a little bit wider on each side and I love that. So that's one. Two. Um, you know, I really like the Euro cabinetry in here. Yes. I love the modern look. Looks I, fantastic. I wish I would see it more. Mm -hmm. and, and because it seems to be more Thor. And all, all in the smaller Thors. Yes. I, I wish I saw it in the, the bigger thing. ones. Yep. yep. That's how I feel. Exactly. But, but I, I, I do love that cabinetry here. And I think it's expensive, this cabinetry. That's why they don't want to put it in the bigger ones. They want to keep it in the smaller ones to save cost. So that's two. And then the third thing I love about this motorhome is... I'm, I'm going with the bathroom. Wow. Even, even though... Even though it failed the prime pooping position, even though the shower is small, again, this is that, this motorhome, no, I'm not saying the bathroom, I'm saying the layout. This motorhome is for that person who wants a class B, who then walks into a, hashtag van life, right? <laughs> who then walks into a class B, and it's all like, oh wait, I can't even change my shoes. That's where this motorhome comes into play, and you still got the, drivability, parking spots. I love it. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Bum, bum, bum. Andrea. Yes. Would you like to go first? Sure. All right. <laughs> Get them. Okay, Matt. Get them. No, I'm just you kidding. You just said. What are you doing? Bathroom. You better not. All right. I'm not a fan of the shower curtain, guys. Um, understand with me i feel like it should have been the, the nautilus shower where it's you know more vinyl um so it, it's, it's it's tracked at the bottom and the yep. top so you're not having water splashing everywhere with yep. this being high up like this i understand that's good mine. point good point <laughs> maybe you're right you are my wife <laughs> okay so that's one dislike is it do we i i don't know about the tv placement because of the seat over here, unless the TV does swivel out. Right, okay, so. Which it doesn't. Yeah, so believe it or not, I almost rather have had the TV right there yes. with the swing arm because there's really no good viewing spots for the television. Right over here, you have to turn your head sideways. Right, right there, you can't see it, but yep. here you can. Right, you gotta sit sideways, and then even there, you're turning your head sideways. You know, it's funny, it would have been better if it was right here, I hate to say it, because it's funny, in, in, in another motorhome, it had the TV right there and we didn't like that either. Well, if it would have came out and it could swivel, that yeah. would have been okay, but yeah. it doesn't come out. For sure. So. And you know what? Um, my third dislike, do you have a third? Black? Yeah, lack of counter space. Okay. This is a small motorhome, I do understand that, but I feel like 
you know, it, it wouldn't, it would have been no big deal to add the extension here. They're starting yep. to become more popular. Yep, lack of counter space for sure. But again, relative to being a small motorhome when you're comparing it up, uh, against class B's, it is pretty good countertop space. I would like to add one more thing to the like list before we end. I do, I'm a huge fan of windshields. Yes. Front windshields. Just the amount of natural light it's letting in is fantastic. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Nice, short, and sweet. That's nice Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell number. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! <laughs> also, there's the contact me page on the website. Andrea. Do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everyone, thanks for thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does read the comments, so we're excited to see what you have to say with this new all-wheel drive floor yes. plan. Yes. Um, I enjoy really reading all your guys' comments. You guys Please crack comment. Me up. Hit that like button, like <laughs> squad. Like button. Make sure you subscribe. You guys are awesome. And I hope you guys are safe and you guys are doing well. Yes, thank you so much. And um, and yeah, all those comments and likes is giving us the opportunity to make more and more videos and better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.